At the Liaoning Provincial Museum, there is a precious epitaph from the Liao Dynasty that recalls life story and achievements of Ye Li Renxian. People might not be familiar with Ye Li Renxian, whose story is recorded in the history of Liao. However, this historical figure is better known as Xiao Feng, a character in the martial arts fiction of Jin Yong. Feng Yongqian, who was in charge of the excavation from Ye Li Yinxian's tomb, compared relevant texts in the history of Liao and demigods and semi-devils. He concluded that the prototype of Xiao Feng was Ye Li Renxian. Historically, Ye Li Renxian was a member of the Qidan royalty. His father was Ye Li Guiyin, the prince of Yan and prime minister of Nanfu in the Liao dynasty. Ye Li Yinxian was appointed as a general several times and conferred the title of prince six times. Yu Yue was only conferred to those of remarkable achievements, merits, and virtues which reflected Ye Li Yinxian's high status. Ye Li Yinxian was an outstanding diplomat. He was appointed as an envoy to the Northern Song Dynasty by Emperor Xingzong of Liao, who was also a renowned strategist. Once he was appointed as Zhao Taoshi in the northwest circuit of Liao, he put down rebellions and restored peace and order on the northern border. Yi Lu Yinxian was loyal and righteous, which earned him much respect. According to history of Liao, when he was on the way to his post as prince of the northern prefecture, people ran hundreds of miles to welcome him. Ye Lu Yinxian once suppressed Ye Lu Chongyuan's reward and saved the Emperor Dao Zong of Liao. Jin Yong adapted this deed into an impressive episode in demigods and semi-devils. From Emperor Xingzong to Emperor Dao Zong of the Liao Dynasty, Yi Lu Yinxian was highly appraised. He was compared to the General Li Daliang of the Tang Dynasty and the Prime Minister Fang Xuanling and Du Ruhui of the early Tang Dynasty. In the eighth year of Xian Yong, Yi Lu Yinxian passed away at the age of 60. He was buried in the family cemetery at the foot of Lianhua Mountain in Beipiao, Liaoning Province. According to his epitaph, the entire country of Liao was brought to tears when they heard of his death. According to Liu Fengzhu, an eminent philologist in Qidan script, there are 71 lines in Qidan Spore script, 5,100 characters in total. On the back of a Yelu Yinxian stone, it contains the largest number of characters among in the Qidan small script. Many new characters and phrases are found in the precious epitaph, which occupies an important position in philological study of Qidan script. Yelu Yinxian's tomb had been robbed three times before the official excavation in 1983. Nevertheless, relics such as decorative jade belt pendants gilded copper bubble-headed studs, pottery qi wen, pottery ink slabs, and plenty of ceramic fragments were excavated, which reflected the rich of walls and great honor bestowed by the Liao Emperor after his death.